Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing great today. Well, um, I'm trying my best to see if I can force out a smile, but it, it's really not coming. Even if it comes, it's not gonna be real because I am super, super pissed off. I am very, very angry. And when I'm angry like this, I just want to pour out. I just want to express myself immediately so I don't get, you know, blown up by this anger. I am so angry. Everybody who has followed me all these years will know how passionate I am about protecting children, about protecting our younger ones. I have done almost everything I've done online today just for the interest of our kids. I've made videos upon videos upon videos and to wake up this morning and see the video that was sent to me about the stuff that happened with the Christian students who were sent to Dubai to go and make sex videos and pornographic videos, which they call vacation, vacation my foot and send the student to go and make sex videos to express the evil that they have all been messed up with, to express the canker worm that has eaten deep into the souls of these children that I've been crying about all along. To wake up and see that video has messed up my entire day. I saw the video. Yes, I've seen it all. I saw the sex video. I saw the mother who was so terrified and depressed and crying out for help. And the mother was talking about what the daughter told her, how that they sent them to Dubai on vacation. And all of a sudden, she asked a, a child, another guy asked her, oh, can I use your charger? And then they gave the charger and then they treat her and say, come and take your charger. And then she came to take the charger and then they drugged her. First of all, what have these children got to do with drugs? Students, kids, babies, literally babies at school. What have they got to do with drugs? Even though I do not believe that story. You know why I don't believe the story? Look at the girl. I saw the sex video. Look at the face of the girl. She does not look an inch like anyone who got under the influence of any drug. That girl was just acting like she has always done stuff like this. And so I placed the ball in the court of the parents, the blame straight to the parents. How can you make all the money in the world and have these children and you cannot take time to know what your kids are doing? I have been making videos. There's even a recent one I put out there. Stolen childhood, you won't believe your own eyes. I have it part one and part two where I exposed Ask Amaze, a website on YouTube, a channel on YouTube that is teaching children how to masturbate, how to have sex, even showing pure er erection, male organs in it. And this same satanic organization is partnering with schools in Africa. I expose them. But when you guys watch my video, you think I'm being an alarmist. I expose the comprehensive sexuality education and the wickedness they are meeting out to our children in Africa. But these private schools will embrace everything so Western as if we have to all make our children Westernized before their children can have value in life. As if African culture and tradition is no longer enough. You have schools that are located in Africa, but 99% of what they teach the children is all Western ideology that has been so possessed, so satanic, so messed up today. Every single ideology that is from the West, we bring, that's why you are paying so much. What are they teaching the children? You buy phones, expensive phones for a 10-year-old, 11-year-old, 8-year-old. They are all carrying devices. Devices that are derailing adults. You are giving them to babies. And that is your own sign of a wealthy man. The mother was crying that they dropped her child. It's a bloody lie, madam. It's a bloody lie. I, 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 I feel bad that you're going through what you're going through. But let truth be told. Let truth be told you and your husband, you have been extremely careless with raising that child. Look at the face of your child. I watched the video. The child didn't look an inch like any person who got under the influence of any drug. That child was doing that stuff like she'd been doing it for a long time. Where did she get that from? The negligence of her parents and caretakers. 
you make all your money. You send your child to the schools that have names. The ones where they say rich men's children go to. You buy all the gadgets. They come back from school. You don't spend an inch of the amount of time needed with your kids. You just make sure that all the DSTV thing is renewed. You make sure that you keep buying anything they want. You don't check her phone to see what is going on. You don't check to see what they are doing. And you call yourself a parent. Retire from being a parent. I beg you in the name of the most, I retire now from being a parent. Or take your children back to the village to go and stay with grandma and grandpa. Stop having these children if we cannot take care of them. Look, when the thing happened, the school said, please, make sure you take the phone away from the child because they now recognize that the conduit through which the devil destroys the minds of these children is the phone. Yet, when you tell parents, stop equipping and arming these children with the same weapon that will destroy them, they think you are being fanatical. They think you are being an alarmist. They don't watch my videos. They watch comedy. Go to my channel and see how many videos I've put out to help you to safeguard your children, to help you protect these children. But there you are, there doing competition. You're doing competition. Oh, Funke's mother has bought it for Funke. I'm going to buy a more expensive one for my son. Oh, uh, uh, Jelani's papa has bought, oh, I'm going to buy this one for Chike, more expensive one. And you are destroying the children. Children are supposed to be in school schooling. But the teachers are more interested in planting a fizzy, all those stupid illusions around the educational system. Oh, air conditioned building. Oh, we go on vacations. Oh, we do this. Oh, truth or dare. What is truth or dare? Where is it enshrined in the traditional makeup of Africa? Tell me, where is our tradition of teaching children? Because we are stupid. We are hopeless as a people. You westernize your children when we have better values in Africa. And the schools are domiciled in Africa, but you cannot teach them about Africa. Can you go to Saudi Arabia and see anybody westernizing their children without teaching them basic Arabian cultures? Go to all the private schools in Nigeria. None of them has any responsibility to teach our children about our culture where a child must learn to respect, where a child must learn to be close to his God, where a child knows discipline. All our kids are learning our Western ideals that have been so terribly messed up today. Everyone is seeing it. You see that they are learning about partial birth abortion, or they are learning about masturbation, or they are learning about being gay, or they are learning about transgenderism. These things are being pumped on the continent of Africa, Chrisland, and all these schools. If you look at those children who, who went to Dubai, I know Dubai very well. I've been there several, several times. I will tell you, most of them have been messed up. Even the boys have been already prostituted. I am telling you what is going on. These so-called high-class schools have become a den of pedo pedophilia, where pedophiles go to mess around with ch children. And you are there carrying your shoulders high. My child is going to that school. My child is going to... Who bloody cares? Who cares? And you're still having more children. These are pedophile centers where they come and use children for satanic sacrifices. We had a situation in Lagos State Public School where they were raping girls in broad daylight. It is an educational curriculum. It came from the West. We have a situation where Sylvester was killed. Darwin College, it is educational curriculum. If you doubt me today, this video is gonna go public. Tell anyone who thinks I am lying to go and check the educational curriculum of all these schools. These schools have adopted wicked satanic sex education programs that are not actually sex education, but sexualization educational programs aimed at sexualizing children. Sexual intercourse and anything sex-related 
contains a lot of mesmerizing energy that will destroy children. Why do we say take the phones and the gadgets away from these children? Because when these children are young, the energy is very virulent. It is very potent. It is very powerful. It is uncontrollable. Any little trigger will make them do the unthinkable. That's why we say allow them to get to a certain age of maturity before you start allowing them these gadgets. Because as a person gets older, the energy, the, the, the intensity of the energy begins to reduce. That's why you see when person matures, somebody matures, they say, oh, the person has now calmed down a little because of maturity. What are we doing? We arm them at a very tender age and give them the weapons with which they are going to kill and destroy themselves. It has happened again. And now, what does Lagos State do? They will close down all the Christian schools everywhere in Lagos. Abi, that's what we do. We are waiting for another school. Nobody will say, let us send undercover agents to go to all the other private schools to find out what is going on with these schools. The children in these schools have all been destroyed. If you are there, if you have a child in any one of these schools, you are deceiving yourself if you think that your child has not been affected. No one is paying attention. We are allowing pedophiles to raise children for us at schools. After all, they spend more, more time there at school than any other place, than even at home. You will find out when a proper investigation is made that most of the teachers are involved. I know a child who came to me and broke down and told me how that even a reverend father this is a, a, a missionary school, private school, so-called missionary. A reverend father violated her repeatedly, took her virginity at the age of 13. This, a, the girl confessed to me when she was 18 years old. No one knew what was going on. This is, they are violating your children and you're spending so much money for your kids to be destroyed. So when you give birth to a child and that child is lost like this, what for what reason did you have that child how do you redeem this one now that her video has gone all over the world sex video children a 10 11 year old sitting on top of another person and whining and having sex 10 11 year old and the other ones were making video of it there was no substance involved this is pure satanic character damage destruction that started from the school that started from the school. This hopeless satanic school is all over the place. No value, no God anywhere. You say, oh Joe, you scream too much. Oh Joe, calm down, take it easy. Okay, I've taken it easy now. Well, look at it now. Shabby, we are all looking at it. This is what is happening. Go and buy more phones for your children. Why did they say take the phone away from her? Did they tell the parents before that you should not equip these children with phones? Even if you want to get the phone, get the phones that don't have any data access. No, buy them iPhone 10. When I'm using iPhone 13 Plus, you buy it also for your children. Yes, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Look at the one. There's one again that is trending now where an adult was, you know, calling a girl and the mother was there listening in until the woman just blew up and said yes this is the mother you fool you shameless thing oh is he is he 16 i didn't know he's 16 16 is even old they call 13 year olds 12 year olds and these are 60 something year old men because you give them the phone the child will have this is a ticket to hell expressway to hellfire when data is available on your child's phone, your child is gone. Have you been able to handle it yourself as an adult? What makes you think your child can handle it? Every single case of sexual pollution that has happened to children at school, it began with a mobile phone. It began with a cell phone. Check all the children, even the court activities, the kind of satanic ideas and ideals that this enemy is pumping to children through these devices. It is so clear and glaring, but you act like you don't care. It is not a sign of wealth that you buy this rubbish for your children. Now you want to go and remove the phone from the girl after the girl has been damaged. 
Did you watch the thing that the girl is watching at home on TV and you're crying? You allow them to watch anything on TV, their minds are gone. Shameless people. Go to Jesse Fokechuku on YouTube if you want to. If you don't want to, that's fine. I have tons of videos exposing this rubbish. Ask Amaze is a channel on YouTube teaching our children how to do all the things that you are exposing right now. And they are partnering with Nigerian schools. They are partnering with schools in Africa. Then when situations like this happen, everybody will raise alarm. How to prevent it when someone tells you, you look the other way. It's, it's not the talk of town. It's talk of the town. That's, that's what everybody... I mean, more are going to come. And when it happens, Lagos will go and close the school. But they will not investigate the other schools that their own have not been exposed. Check all the schools. I said it when I was talking about Sylvester from Darwin College. I said it. I said if you check all the schools, the same thing, sexual perversion, satanic cult membership, all of these are in these schools. The children are on drugs. All of them. Babies. I'm pissed. So deal with it. I'm pissed. I'm doing all this so that God will bear me witness that I did the most that I could when I could. Cry me a river. It's a pity. It's a pity. It's a pity. Again, if you like, go to Joseph Kachu on YouTube and watch the videos. If you don't like, don't worry. It's okay. But God will judge. <laughs> You don't know the relationship between Christ and the children. He said it's better for you to have a millstone tied to your neck and thrown into the bottom of the sea than to let any one of these little ones go into sin. And this is what parents are doing on a daily basis. Are you claim you are a Christian? Wait until the judgment day. We shall know who is right or who is wrong. May God help all of us, man. And let me tell you right now, I know the Osinachi case has taken a while since it's been on, but I promise you very soon I'm also going to give you a peace of mind on that one too. May God bless you all.